Okay, chatters. So this is my attempt at learning in public. What that means is that I'm just going to try to capture my experimentation things so you can get into my head in terms of how I approach things and problems and processes and all that kind of fun stuff. So I recently did a workflow video of how I do the Miss Nora blogs from start to finish. And it just got me thinking, mm, I can probably optimize for these blogs specifically to make it uh, as, I don't know, streamlined as possible. So I'm just going to make, you know, a specific Miss Nura blog uh, prompt so that we can write this thing a little bit more, you know, in a straightforward and more optimized way. So. What that means uh, is that I want, one thing I kind of have to do is like research these things myself. Um, and so what I'd rather do is just to, and I do it in Claude, which means I don't have access to the web. So now that I know that ChatGPT, it's most likely has the 32,000 uh, context window model at this point, And that with web browsing makes it a lot easier to just kind of smush those two things together. So let me walk through uh, how I'm structuring this blog. I have not tried it yet. So I'm going to try it like live with you for the first time right now, just to see what happens. But let's walk through how I've structured it. So I'm in Obsidian. Again, I'm going to be doing videos on this soon and why I think it's the way forward for you to take notes and do all the written things. But for now, let's, this is a, a prompt for the Mr. Or blog. So as usual, or how I've uh, evolved is I really like using Markdown now. So you'll see here, this is just a heading one for mission. And it's act as Miss Nura, an expert informal educator on all things AI, who writes blogs to help everyone understand complex topics related to the field. Your job is to write a format section by section using tone to support learning on topic. You have access to web browsing. So you'll see here, I have my variables. These are things that can easily be like slotted in if you define them somewhere else. So at least for now, I'm going to put the variables right after that. I know this comes before, but that's not really that important because it does kind of look at the, the thing as a chunk with sort of more attention to the top and the bottom. We also don't have too many variables. So we would put in our topic and then our tone for the blog, which I'll do in a minute when I put into the chat GPT. Okay, instructions. One, begin by confirming the topic with the user to ensure alignment. So pretty much I want to make sure that whatever I'm asking it to do, it's repeating back to me what it thinks I want it to do so I can confirm that uh, just so it doesn't go off the rails from the get-go. Um, access the web to do research and outline the blog based on format. We'll go over the format in a minute. Write the blog section by section, pausing after each to gather feedback from the user. Once the blog has been written, create social media copy for LinkedIn and Instagram. So you'll see here, I'm just trying to take it um, from like the skeleton all the way through the actual execution. And we're doing that by research, outline, write section by section, confirm this is good, and then uh, we'll create the social media copy for it. So already realizing, I forgot to do something here, but we're going to get into the format and then I'll add uh, live the things that I'm missing. So for the format, uh, we want to make some sort of hooky blog name. Uh, and I just do it to heading two. We want a short ChatGPT tends to like make these really, really long blog names. Uh, and then written intro to the topic that we've defined. And if you've seen these blogs, they follow the same headings every time. So we got the history. We want a human-centered engaging story about the people in context how it works. So we want the technical description of how this thing works and then a relatable uh, metaphor analogy. So you can really grasp it. Uh, the algorithm itself, I do like to actually walk through the math for the people who are interested in that. I imagine most people will probably skip it, but I'm hoping that I can provide you again with that, just like just one level deeper of like, okay, this is how it works and why it works that way. The advantages, the disadvantages, I don't really have to define those, it'll know. And then the applications. So the two things I, I forgot to add is we like to have a TLDR at the end here. 
and then a vocab list. Uh, I know uh, people might not understand all the words the first time around, uh, and you might want to read this a few times. And so I just put the vocabulary list there at the end so you can review it. Okay. Uh, and that's, that's everything. Right. Oops, there we go. Uh, and, and so this is the blog. I don't think I have to make it do an intro because it, it, I've essentially, all I got to do is fill in the topic and tone and I'll do it. What I could do differently is you could set up an intro that you wanted to follow every time. And essentially you just put in the variables, uh, like, uh, the topic, the tone, the format, all that kind of stuff. So. I don't know. You can you can test out with that, but I'm just going to keep it here, and I'll fill in the blanks each time I go into ChatGPT. Let's move on to actually testing it out. So again, I haven't done this yet. I don't know how it's going to work, but uh, we're going to go back up here because we just got to fill in our topic and tone. So for the tone, we want it conversational fun, engaging, use emojis to express yourself. And you know what? We're actually going to add, ooh, interesting. Okay, well, we're going to have to do that again because I pressed enter accidentally <laughs> instead of uh, shift enter, so I tried to send it. So we're going to try this again. Uh, well, I don't know really what that means, but we'll we'll just refresh too just to be safe. You know, this is the thing about technology is, uh, especially new technology, is it breaks down all the time and works in ways that you don't want it to actually work. Um, you'll see here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to just clean this up a little bit. So logistic progression. Um, okay. Hopefully it, hopefully it sends this stuff. Okay, here we go. Hello there. Oh, by the way, let's actually see if I did this. I did. Okay, so you are going to want to go and turn off your custom instructions if you have anything in here. I say that just because when, you, especially when you're testing something new, uh, what you want to do is, is not have any custom instructions just to see how it works plain. Sometimes the custom instructions interfere. So just make sure that, you know, this is just, just turn it off for now. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's ride. Okay. Yep. That's not bad. I like that. Written intro. Hmm. Interesting. So it's going right into the actual, um, blog itself. <laughs> okay, so it has skipped a step, right? Because because what I wanted to do is I wanted to confirm the topic. Well, let's let's actually yeah, I wanted to confirm the topic and then access the web to do research. So okay, this is what we're gonna do just to test it out again. You're gonna become three. We want to make it a separate step. Make sure it kind of follows. We're getting right up here too. I don't like to do more than five instructions, so I'm hoping uh, this should be good. But again, it's moving to uh, 32,000 contacts, so it should be okay. Um, so let's save and submit. All right, we're going to delve into the enchanting world of logistic regressions. It's the topic you're looking to explore. Yes. Less uh, enthusiastic this time, but that's okay. Okay, great. It's doing what we want it to do. Browse, 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 browse. Now, of course, too, if you wanted to, it depends on how specific you want to get, but you could add um, another variable here where it's instead of saying it access the web, it says access websites and you set websites as a variable up here. And then you can just put in all the URLs you wanted to look at or, or like the just general website you wanted to look at. Okay, here we go. Great. Now that we have a good grasp on the logistic regression, let's sail through the outline. Logistic regression. The ma so another thing I'm probably going to want to add is citations, but let's keep moving for now because I don't know. Logistic regression, we're less worried it's going to get it wrong. There's so much information about logistic regression. We don't want to trust it 
to do the actual math of logistic uh, regression just as bare LLM, but it'll know how it works. Okay. Logistic regression is fascinating. Uh, realm of mathematics. Category. Okay, so you'll see here it has kind of, this is not necessarily what I was looking for in an outline. It kind of does the whole thing though, which is good. Yep, okay. Drafting each section in detail or would you like any adjustments to the outline? So this is what I'm actually going to do uh, because I actually want when it's doing the outline to uh, to bullet it uh, instead because you can just kind of fit more in there than, than the narrative and it just, it sort of provides the topic sentences more or less for it. So we're going to say outline the blog in a bulleted list based on format. Okay, let's save and submit. Let's try this one more time. Hoping we'll be good. <laughs> um, okay, before we march ahead, is legit, yes. Yes. Now, maybe you wanna skip this. Maybe you wanna spend more time up here, you know, defining your topic. And, and maybe it is a more intense topic. It kind of depends, but you could skip this step of alignment really based on what you're doing. Let's ride. Okay. So even then, it was a little, it kind of like, you know, it took me a few interactions to get to this point. So you can skip this one. You can say, uh, you can just delete it and just say, access the web to do research. It really depends on the topic. I've, it, like for this one, I probably should like just skip. It's like obvious what I'm looking for and I've outlined the format. But if you're doing a more complex topic, you probably want to... Um, you know, be more detailed in here and have it confirm just to make sure it's doing what you want. Okay, and here we go. Now, I wish it actually <laughs> aligned this, but whatever, we're going to trust it. I think it'll be okay. Um, okay, so we have some points. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe, maybe the other way was better. Well, we can go back and see. Um, yes. Hello, data adventures. Great. Love it. Okay, this is pretty short, but that's okay. We're going to say continue. Cool. Great. This is a little bit more detailed. So at this point in the video, I'm probably just going to sort of like skip ahead. It's funny. This was the example uh, used for the last one. Let's uh, do a different relatable example. I spelled relatable wrong. <laughs> So, you know, this is uh, just funny, something to think about. Uh, so my, the last blog I did, right, it mentioned the same thing, more or less, for regression. So it's interesting that, at least in the way that I prompted it initially, it's done this now multiple times uh, as, as the example. Okay, imagine your email box is like a grand party. <laughs> so we're party crashers. Spam. Okay. Hmm. So I actually want to walk through, actually want to walk through the math between this example, but spam's a good one. Probably done that one before too, but everyone hates spam and everyone understands spam. So Okay, we're getting there. So this is interesting. I'm really going to have to think through the format for this so that I'm, I'm clearer in terms of what I want. I want this to be more of a narrative. Walk through. Take the reader step by step.
<laughs> that's, that's so ridiculous. Named Logie. Logie had a very important job to guard the gates of the Grand Email Palace against the invasion of spam marauders. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Uh, chapter one, gathering the clues before the sun rose. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. And why uh, links to this, these were recorded as a magic scroll as the dawn broke. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I feel like I gotta do it though. I definitely gotta do it. <laughs> and thus, through the lens of a whimsical tale, we've journeyed through the algorithmic essence of logistical regression. Okay, sure, let's do it. Okay, this is good enough. So it has kind of just gone through these last ones all at once. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, Cause these are usually the quicker parts. Actually though, the problem here is it has lost its tone. Look at this. And part of that, well, no, cause it had a couple in here. Um, so we're gonna have to remind it. Okay, this is better. I like it when it just kind of, oh no. <laughs> A network error. Ugh. It's narrated in our whimsical tale. Okay, let's do it. Almost there. Take us home. I mean, I love it that I can lean into this. You know, like, comfort is, I don't know. It's, like, dumb, but... You just kind of want it to be dumb. Uh, and, and I don't know. I feel like this is important. Like, I don't know how many kids are actually going to read this, but it's just kind of ridiculous in all the right ways, I hope. <laughs> this is perfect. Great. Okay. Uh, may your quick <laughs> shall we concoct some enchanting Wow, really leaning into it. I'm excited. And here we have our LinkedIn post. Nice and nice and easy. Great. And there you go. I mean, that was pretty good. I think now what I got to do is see, see the difference on Claude. Uh, so I'll, maybe I'll do that for my next blog. I'll, I'll use the same kind of uh, prompt here just to see what happens and how much more or less time it takes. Although it's a little cheating because now I have some uh, updates, but you know, the fact what's tough is that I have web browsing on ChatGPT right now. So I can do the research, but also like, like I said, these algorithms are well known, well documented. There'll be tons of information on them uh, and examples in the training data. So for this kind of thing, you probably don't, don't need it. But if you're doing more like current events type stuff, you're, you're going to need it so it doesn't hallucinate. So anyway. I hope that video was helpful. <laughs> Thanks for listening, chatters. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week.